okay. Looking at this uh, uh, Surat tank, it's quite probably 20 plus years old, I expect. Um, it's got automatic dosing because of the chemical. <coughs> Some tanks have an alkaline pump and an acid pump, and they alternate between them, so it'll do three or four alkaline washes which will get rid of the fat from the milk and then they'll do an acid wash which will get rid of any lime scale or milkstone. Um, this one's just got the alkaline pump which it dumps into that jug and then it's got a hypochlorite wash, uh, final rinse. Is that final rinse? Uh, I might be talking at my ass. I'm not sure if it's final rinse or the rinse before the final rinse. It's got a hypochlorite rinse at the, uh, the end of the washing sequence. Um, this one uh, back back a bit. The acid and alkaline pumps are a timed pump. They have a little time um, adjuster here. You can set the pump for how long it runs. So as soon as you turn the wash on, this pump starts, or well, that pump starts, depending on where, where, where the, I think we have a selector switch, depending on where that's set. And it will pre-fill the jug ready for the part of the wash. Um, so you adjust that to get the level of chemical you want in the jug on the size of the tank so that would be the two pumps so they are a 24 volt pump so there's a little transformer in that box that runs this pump um, and I think the I think the acid and alkaline ones there's actually a selector switch for you to decide which one you want it to work on that day this one where it does the high ploy final rinse or uh, rinse before I think it's the final rinse um, is a mains pump so you need to be very careful they look the same but you need to check that you're not putting a 240 uh, or 24 volt pump on a 240 volts feed because it will blow up. And uh, I have seen that done. Uh, well, I didn't see it done. I, I know the person who did it and I know the customer where it happened because they did tell me about it. You know, it, it literally blew up. <laughs> uh, anyway, this isn't, we've had the report, this isn't working, so the easiest way to check it, I think, because it's mains, is I've just disconnected it from the feed. And we've got a um, live and neutral into our little safe block. And if we plug that down, it makes a noise, but it's not going around. So, something's gone wrong, either, either the gearbox is stripped and that's going around, or it's locked and it's just bouncing back and forth. So uh, we'll, we'll get the new pump put on there and uh, see how we get on. Okay, so that's the new pump I've got for comparison. Uh, uh, so we'll get that swapped onto there. That should be good. <laughs> 